Hey everyone, welcome back to Code Throw. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Unreal Engine Locked and Loaded Military Asset Bundle. This is only available for 20 days uh, at the time of making this video. You only have to pay $20 in order to get all the assets. It's just a bunch of realistic military looking type equipment. There are some sci-fi stuff included with it. You'll see characters with animations, zombies, um, tanks, quite a few buildings, quite a few guns and so on. A lot of weapon packs and really nice looking environments that are pretty realistic. And all you have to do is once you purchase this and click checkout, you'll get a bunch of keys that you just click to reveal the store key. And then you'll go to your Epic launcher and just plug it in and you'll just paste in your code here. And then after you copy paste the code in and then enter it, it'll just say you redeemed this successfully. And then you can just hit redeem another code and you'll have to do this for every single one. So there is there is quite a lot. So I'll go do that and then I'll add it all into a project and sh showcase over all the assets. So let's start off with the M100 trailer. This is a very hyper realistic looking trailer. You can see how high quality the, the textures are. This is just the first map that's showcasing this. So the lighting is done really nicely. I like the fog in the background. And if I were to just roam around this mesh, it still looks really good. This looks really really high quality i love the textures it looks this is just unreal engines hyper realistic graphics so this is the special ops character rigged to the unreal engine mannequin using the regular third person character animations and it even comes with a little playable demo so if i were to hit play and i'll hit f8 just to go out of it you can see how realistic it looks and yeah, overall, I think the quality of this character and the textures done is just absolutely amazing. This looks super realistic. Next up is the blood animated decals. So if I hit play, you'll see them slowly animating and then it stops. And here are some of the sci-fi weapons. So for example, you can see that there is a pistol, a magazine to reload it, a little knife, a couple knives. Super cool. These are very realistic. Everything in this pack is actually very realistic. This is the AMX 56 tank, <laughs> super realistic again. And it's not just a tank. They also give you a little controller on how to play with the tank. They even added like a little aim cursor, HP and stuff, showing how it simulates when you destroy another tank. And then you also have different types of attacks. So this one's like the machine gun. If I click two, if I click three, and this is the mountain village asset pack showcasing houses, realistic foliage, a lot of props that you can place around in the environment. Very nice LOD levels. You can tell this is very optimized and this is actually working flawlessly even in the Unreal Editor. And you can see that here is a little village for the Mountain Village Asset Pack. And there's just a ton of things that you can do with this. And you can also even go inside these little houses and there are rooms. These are pretty modular pieces that you can uh, mix and match together. And they do look super nice. And yeah, overall, amazing, really beautiful asset. This could honest, this honestly looks like a movie set as well. This is the VK1602 Leopard. Um, again, really hyper realistic. You can simulate the destruction and you can change camos if available. I guess I don't have any available, but this looks absolutely sick. This looks insane to me. And now we have this Battle Royale map. And this to me looks absolutely, this looks super beautiful. I love the foliage. I love all the props that are shown. This, this might be my favorite. Oh my God, this looks super nice. I love the lighting of this level. Let's take a look at one of the houses. Yeah, so not, not much stuff done inside, but of course you can manage to do this as well. Uh, the lighting just looks extremely nice. There's an upstairs, the rooms and so on. There's a giant plane that you can jump out of like Fortnite. There's a water structure. These are the docks. There's a bridge out in the distance. And yeah, overall, this looks super nice. I love how this water looks as well. I like how transparent it gets to the surface. And it, it also does come with some high realist or realistic roads. And there is a lot going on in this environment. I really, I really like this one. Yeah, just the foliage itself is just amazing. I just can't believe this is all 20 bucks. Like, holy crap, this is this is an amazing deal. This is the 1940s office. So let's take a look inside. Everything is just so realistic. I'm always in awe when I see these. This looks like a real structure. I don't know why this point of view is giving me Mario vibes, but let's go ahead and take a look. So when you get inside, you'll see, oh, wow. I, I have not seen this, but this looks... This looks freaking amazing. This is the lobby. Here's a little bar area. There's an upstairs. 
These hallways look really nice and realistic. Here's an administrator's office or the staff room. There's also a nice balcony out here. Another hallway. There's just so many pieces to this level. A record room, even with a label on it, which is really nice. The library. Um, let's see what's inside. Nice. And this leads you out to the roof. So here's the advanced weapons pack. You can see there are rifles, sci-fi weapons, crossbows, machine gun, ARs, shotguns, magnums, rocket launchers. And then there are a bunch of attachments as well, which look really, really nice. And I actually love that they did this. They even have a widget overview where you can click on, uh, it, it comes with a UI where you can click on different types of weapons and it'll show you like a estimated damage, rate of fire, accuracy, and so on. And this looks this looks really sick to me. I love that it comes with UI stuff. I, I honestly find it pretty rare to see that. And you can even rotate the 3D model on the widget. And wow, this I love how much they do with these assets. This is this is insane. This is the M8A1. Looks super high, hyper realistic. I love it. And this is the Cyber City Night Pack. It's giving very cyberpunk vibes. Tons of props and street lights. Very modular. And yeah, overall, a really a nice looking asset pack. Now this tank is the SU100. These might start looking all the same to you if you're not really into tanks. Um, to be fair, I'm not either, but I really do like how realistic these are. I love the little camera angles when we did blow it up. And yeah, overall, it looks really cool. And same thing as the other tanks, it does come with a playable controller character BP. Now this is the, the desert map. And holy crap, this is giving me CSGO 2 flashbacks. This actually looks kind of insane. You can see little track marks where the cars have been or tire tracks. It's really sandy, tons of foliage, uh, lots of rock concepts, very realistic looking buildings. Yeah, overall, this looks super cool. I'm, I'm loving how this is turning out. And this is the military airport pack. You'll see a ton of little plane repair kit stuff, a lot of construction stuff, uh, really nice foliage in the background. A uh, ton of containers, storage stuff. I'm absolutely in love with the foliage, a little outpost with radio antennas on it, a little helicopter pad. And now this is the shrubland environment pack. And this looks amazing. This is some hyper realistic foliage. I love the water and how it gets a bit foamy across the edges or along the edges of the rocks. Tons of high quality, realistic rock assets and ground textures. And just a super nice overview of the land with LODs properly set up so it's optimized and you can see stuff phasing out and looking less quality as I go further away from it. But if your character is right by it, no worries. It looks perfectly great. And wow, this is just amazing. Look how high quality this is. And here is another weapons pack and it does come with this really sick looking UI and you can change the skins of it. And this is just, I just really love what they did here uh, with all these different types of UI. You can attach scopes and you can see it just attach on to the skeletal mesh of this of this gun for example you can even change the gun and or the gun angle by clicking these arrows and so on and yeah this to me just looks super cool i i love this this, this is really nice and over here you'll see different types of guns um you'll also see some kind of like illuminating as we see here uh grenades claymores wood scopes and four a1s these look very very realistic these are these are actually insane to me how game ready these how game ready these are. And you can see another one. This is for the World War II weapons pack. You'll see different meshes here. There are weapon animations as well, so you can see them reloading and how it triggers the handles and so on. So for example, when we zoom in a bit closer. So this is another pack with more blood decals. You'll see some spurts, blood pools, punches, punctures. There is just a ton of different kinds that you'll see when I hit play. They'll start playing the animation for it and so on. And this is the modular zombies pack that comes with a ton of animations, even a little playable character. And you can see a ton of animations. You can change them around and you can see that it just comes with different or a little blueprint AI NPCs that just kind of walk around. And this is the hyper realistic Maria NPC that's also in this bundle. And it also comes with a third person playable character at what, where you can play as her. And it just looks really nice, looks really realistic. I love the clothing on her. And this is the prop showcase where it comes with a bunch of old school and military looking radios. And last but not least, another tank. 
a ton of tanks in this pack with different decals. You can toggle the destruction animation and it has a playable demo that you can play and so on. And that pretty much covers the humble bundle. Thanks for watching. Code or throw, like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.